A little boy living with spinal muscular atrophy just had his Halloween costume upgraded big time. Yeah, that is an understatement. Students at West Michigan Aviation Academy worked for the past two weeks designing and building him a very elaborate outfit. Our Michael Martin was there for that big unveiling. Kingston, hey, what's up? On Friday morning, five-year-old Kingston Wilson got quite the Halloween surprise. Are you excited? Yeah? A group of students at the West Michigan Aviation Academy designed and built him a custom police cruiser costume. Ready, buddy? A little guy with a huge personality and a smile that beams out even from behind a face mask. The costume fit perfectly around his wheelchair, or as he calls it. So Kingston is in his bike, or his, his wheelchair, he calls it a bike, um, because he has something called SMA, spinal muscular atrophy. It affects the motor neurons in your spinal cord. His mom, Savannah, has known engineering teacher Andrew Abissi for several years now. My wife actually had the brilliant idea to do this costume for Kingston. I used to always do Transformer costumes for myself, and it, she kind of gave me the idea, why not make a costume for somebody that would really appreciate, love it. We finally decided that he wanted to be a police officer, so we texted Andrew, um, and this was... Gosh, less than two weeks ago. So he brought the project to students in his CAD class and they got to work. So with the project, we had it split up into four categories. We had attachments, design, design structure, and then electronics. It was a lot more difficult than we thought because his wheelchair is obviously very different than normal wheelchairs, so we had to work around the wheelchair and find ways to attach it without obstructing anything. Most of the frame here, like all of the wheels and all of the body and stuff, that's made out of insulated foam, so it's a really durable material. Kingston has always been drawn to police officers, his mom says. When he turned five over the summer, several Kent County Sheriff's deputies stopped by to wish him a happy birthday. They worked so hard on this. They really cared about Kingston and wanted to make sure he had like a a really special day and I think they accomplished it. I ended up staying about like probably honestly like almost 12 hours after school helping finish it up in time because we weren't quite there yet. It was completely worth seeing their face though. He looks so happy. So when Kingston and his sister Everly head out for tricks and treats this year, they will be rolling in style. To watch the students get so excited about having an impact in like this little kid's life, like that was absolutely amazing. Oh, 100% worth it. It was, I'd do it again easily. In Grand Rapids, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. I hey. think Michael saved the best for last. I had no idea that there the were lights... working lights in there. He easily, hands down, has the best Halloween costume, probably in West Michigan. Sorry for everyone else. Maybe costume. if there's a contest, he needs to get involved yeah, that'd be and win. Cool.